Welcome to my tutorial about the most important element of HTML, the div. If you remember from my last tutorial, uh, we were looking at boxes and how most uh, applications are just boxes. So let me just show you what I mean. If I go to Google Images, and you can do this too just to, to see different types of uh, user interfaces. Now, if you remember from my last tutorial, I talked about how everything is just a box, right? And uh, as I uh, browse around these images, you're going you're gonna to see that how this is a box, and this is a box, and so on, right? Here's a perfect example. This is very boxy. Text is also within a box that you don't see its edges, but it's there. And on and on and on. So as you can see, user interfaces are pretty are pretty simple because if you just see them as boxes, it's just a matter of laying out boxes. Now, my favorite language is HTML uh, currently. I think it's the most powerful language uh, in the world for user interfaces today at 2018. Bam! And the reason why it's so powerful is because HTML can now run everywhere. It can run on uh, laptops, desktop, um, tablets, mobile apps, wherever you want, uh, HTML can run. It can run as as its own desktop app. Um, it's not like back in the day we had to put HTML in the browser. Now you can put them in mobile apps. You, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. So when when beginners are just new to HTML, they look at these tags and they get like a heart attack because nobody wants to learn all this, right? But just note that uh, most of these tags were made back in the day where uh, the most important thing was the spider. And the spider is basically just Google going through your website and, and trying to pick different keywords from your website. Um, it was important for SEO and all the, that other web stuff. But my channel is mainly about application development. So as far as just building an app, okay, so you want to build an app for the phone, or for the desktop, for just a web app, whatever, then you don't need all this stuff. You really don't. And the only thing you need, biggity bam, just the div. That's the most important element. Another thing people will do is that they'll buy like an HTML book, and these things are just like, yeah, there's just, they're so long. I mean, eventually they just get bored and they stop learning HTML. So instead, I say just teach them one tag. This is the way my HTML book would look like. It would just be one page with, with div. And that's it. You're done with the book as soon as you read this because this is the only thing you need. Apart from HTML, the, the, real, the real thing, the, the real meat and potatoes is CSS. It's not so much HTML. HTML is just, you know, you're saying, okay, this is a box. And CSS is how you style the box. And that's really where the majority of, of the stuff is, so to speak. Now, one uh, exercise you can do is, um, you know, if you go to any website and you just right click, you just right click anywhere, uh, go to inspect, okay? And then click on this button here. See this button? Just click on it. And, um, just hover over elements and you'll see that everything is a box. Okay? That's the only thing that we're worried about. Forget the fact that it says like TD over here or, or, or table or H2. This is all the tags that I want to replace with just divs. Because it's so much easier if you could just use one tag instead of like all these different tags. So a quick aside, like why would people uh, deal with all these tags if they could just put everything in a div, right? Why do they need all this stuff? And as I mentioned before, it's for mainly for Google's robot. Like, you know, this is HTML5 tags, and they all, it's just semantics, right? It doesn't really mean anything as far as what it looks like, as far as, you know, what the user sees. The user doesn't see any of this stuff. This is mainly for you and for Googlebots. But, um, 
we could just easily replace all those semantics with just the div if you don't really care about semantics, right? And more often than not, you don't, especially if you're not dealing with like SEO or websites. If you're just dealing with web applications, then you don't care about semantics. One other thing to keep in mind is that the, uh, the div is kind of like a joker card. Um, this is just an easy way to think about it. And, you know, a joker could, could become any card, right, in the deck. All right, now I'm going to show, um, you know, how we can just change different tags into divs. I'm just going to show the most basic tags right now, but trust me that about 95% of tags can just be used with, with divs or 95% of the programs that you write. So, you know, this stuff right now, this is just the boilerplate HTML. You just copy and paste this into a new file. I'm not talking about these tags like HTML. I'm not going to replace like, you know, HTML with a div or head or body. These are the main tags and you can't replace them. So everything that I talk about replacing div, uh, elements for divs, it's only within the body tag. So a classic example is, you know, this is a button, right? Whoops. So if you look at the default HTML button, the problem with this is that it's just super small. And if you were gonna write, you know, some kind of user interface that, that looks that is like stylized, for example, this is uh, this is a uh, some kind of UI for for a restaurant. Then, if your buttons look like this, or you want to make them look like this because it's just nicer, then you couldn't really use this button, right? You'd have to stylize it. So, if we're stylizing things anyway, might just might as well just use a div. So, let's just create a, another button. This is a button. This is going to be a div button. And um, don't worry about the code that I'm writing here. I'm going to get, get into more of detail in later videos. But just know that you can write code in here to just style it. Like we can give it a border. Oops. We can give it a border. We could make it in line. Right? We can give it a radius or a border, like a rounded rectangle. Can put padding in there. Yeah, let's give it like a background. And let's even make the font a little bit bigger. So as you can see, I mean, I'm, I've already created, you know, my own button and I can use this style everywhere in the program. Like you can just put it as a, as a class, but don't worry about that for now. All you need to, to know is that I got rid of the button, right? I just made a div. Now just to show a few more elements that I can do just as examples like this is a header. So again, if you're not doing S things for SEO or Google or websites or anything like that, and you're just dealing with web applications, you could just replace this with a, with a div. So we'll just give it a big font size and we'll make it we'll make it bold as well. Whoops. All right. So now it looks kind of like an H1. Have you ever seen a span tag? Hello, this is a span. Now a span, it just puts things in line, right? This is a span. See how the span didn't like move to, to a new line? Hello, this is a div, but divs always move to new lines. Right? Hello, this is, whoops, let me just, let me just get a break here. We can also make this a div, but don't worry about that for now. Hello, this is a uh, div, right? See how like the div fell to a new line right now? Now, let's say we wanted to mimic the, the span. All we do is just give it a, a certain style. Bam. Now it's just like a span. Get rid of this BR. Div style is equal to clear both. See, that was like the, the BR. Okay, another element that we could uh, make as a div would be an input. Let me just make it like that. So this is an input. 
right? You can type things into it. You can do the same thing with the div. Uh, let's just give it a um, width of, let's say, 200, a height of 20. And let's give it a border. C. Oh, and let's make it content editable. See, so it's just like an input right now. Bam. Not bad, right? Have you ever seen a text area? It looks like... What the... So this is a text area. So let's say we wanted our div. Let me make it darker, the border anyway. But let's say we wanted our div to look like this. Well, you just um, you just make the height bigger, right? So now we we have it just like a text area. So the only difference, uh, well, the only thing you need is content editable if you want to be able to write stuff inside of it. Here's another one, uh, image tag. Do you really need an image tag? So, oops. Okay, this cat is a little bit kind of big, so. Let's say if I were gonna put this as a div, all you do is you just go background image URL. Help me. This is quotes. Cat.png. Then background size. This is just to fit it uh, to fit it inside the div's dimensions, which is this. Let's make it 350 like the other one, or 300 was it? So. There you go, a div just like a, um, and why isn't that closing? So yeah, that would be an image. Uh, there's other tags like table, uh, you know, table row, uh, column, all those things. And yes, you can make them as divs as well. You know, in, in an application, a lot of the times you don't really have links. I mean, although, you know, if you really needed a link, you could just, have a link, right? But most of the times we just have divs that we click on. And then this might, in here you might like load something, like another screen or, I'll show you how to do that. But generally speaking in applications, you don't have that many uh, links. Yeah, so just, uh, you know, take my word on it that, that most of the time you just need to, um, yeah, most of the time you can just use divs for everything in HTML. So don't worry about HTML. The real thing to learn is CSS. Uh, that said, there are you know some tags that sometimes you do need and you can't replace them with divs. For example, the audio tag and the video tag and a canvas and SVG. I mean, these are pretty big technologies in and of themselves. So you can't really just replace them with divs, obviously. So there are situations where you do need custom tags to work with an HTML, but the beginner uh, can totally work with just divs, especially if they're just trying to um, they're just trying to learn how to program. Because if you remember, you know, as I said earlier, everything is just like these boxes, right? So you don't need the other more advanced tabs or tags. I mean, oh, and another another tag that's useful. Uh, to look at is the un unordered list that has list items in it. So see how it has these I items in it? Now I don't know why people, well, I don't know, sometimes you do want them for some reason, but but you could, I mean, you could have easily just put, you know, item one. Whoops, what's this? I mean, you know, instead of using UL and LI and all that stuff, you could have just put them all in divs. 
and you know gotten some ASCII from the internet you know that looked like a like a dot right and you could have I don't know put some spaces here if you really wanted to I mean this is a very hacky solution to do this but I'm just saying you know you don't have to always use the elements that they give you in HTML see this just makes a space by the way this little thing but you know you can you can make a perfectly good list to a user that that wouldn't really look at your code anyway All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the video, just hit the like button. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.